There are three basic fundamentals to think about while you are painting. They are readability, values and edges. Let's start with readability. It is more important to communicate a meaning or a story of a piece than to convey its style. The message should be clear to the viewers. As you can see, I am taking my time to make sure my image reads better using the basic shape and simple local colors to define the basic color structure. In this stage, I am not worried about the color and value. For now, my thoughts are only about the shapes and the basic composition of the image. I want to make sure it reads good when viewed in this navigator window. I have seen my students happen to make one common mistake. When starting, they concentrate more on the style and detailing of the painting than the actual painting itself. I call it the limbo of detailing. To escape this limbo of painting details, I have got a good tip for you. Paint the piece zoomed out. It's always a good practice to start painting zoomed out and using brush as big as possible. This ensures that you work on the image readability than on detailing. If your image does not read good when small, it is probably not a good idea to start detailing it. I'll always look at the navigator window whenever I make a change. It is similar to the action of traditional artists. When they make a change, they step away from the piece to get a overall look. Here the navigator works in the same way. One more way to avoid limbo of detailing is by not working on the same area for a long time. Work on every area of the piece simultaneously. Okay, I am happy with the overall look of the painting and it reads good in the navigator too. Let's get into the second topic, value. Value refers to the light and dark or the brightness of an area within the artwork. Even without the colors, the painting with good value structure reads good in grayscale. Value scale ranges from darkest black to brightest white. But use only the above shown in between values and avoid using pure black and pure whites. Every color has its own value. Here, I am just changing the hue of the color. But when I turn off the colors, they differ. This proves the point. Here, I am checking the value by changing the image into grayscale by adding a new black layer on the top and changing the layer option to color. I will check the value every now and then to make sure my values are correct. As value is a really huge area to cover, it demands a video of its own. There I will explain in detail about the value structure and how to use them properly in your painting. I felt like the elements in the scene are not close enough and the composition is not working. So I went in and made changes to the composition before getting into edges and detailing. I always wanted to finalize the composition of the image. Only when I am happy about the composition, I move on to the next stage. As of now, I am defining the shapes of the objects clearly. I am still moving the elements here and there to fix the object's proportion. This will be the best stage of painting to introduce more saturated colors and setting up lights and shadow areas. Edges play an important role in creating visual interest in a painting. There are three types of edges used. Hard edge, soft edge and lost edge. In hard edge, the transition between two colors is visible and sharp. It can be used to define parts of painting where the main object is lit. The second, soft edges. As the name suggests, the transition between two colors will be soft or not clearly, or not clearly visible. This will be used in most part of the painting. Finally, the lost edge. In this, the transition is not at all visible and is used to create a sense of mystery. Now we enter the fun part of painting. Here, I start adding different edges to create varieties in this piece. I even add a lot of colors to make it interesting and colorful. These are not randomly added. Even now I used to toggle on and off the grayscale layer to check whether the values of the painting are correct. In this, there are two light shows. One is warm light coming from the candle and affects the top of the skull. And there is this hidden cool light coming from the left side and it's off the screen and it affects the left side of the skull. As I have told you earlier in this video that not to use black. I am avoiding using black in the darker areas. Later in this process, I introduce colors even in the darker areas. In this stage of painting, I start adding details along with the different edges. To me, painting detail is not about painting what I see. It is about what I feel. To me, painting is abstract. So I tend to keep my painting loose and abstract. If you notice, I used to flip the canvas several times. This is because to get a fresh perspective of the painting and it helps in identifying the mistakes. One quick reminder, it is going to be a series where I go in detail about each and every fundamental for painting in separate videos. So if you want me to upload video on a certain topic, 
you are interested in, leave them in comment section. I'll fast forward it from here and present you the final piece. In the meantime, check out the description for the product list that I've used for making this video. It is an affiliated link, so if you buy something using that link, it supports this channel a lot. Here is the finished piece. This has all the fundamental elements that we discussed about. Even when we zoom out, we can figure out the subject. When I turn on the value layer, the image is still clear and readable. And here, you can see how I use different edges in different areas of painting to give viewers interest and variety over area. You can clearly see the hard, soft and lost edge works together to make the painting looks visually interesting. Try to use these fundamentals in your next painting and share it on social media using the hashtag LackArtWork. I'll check them and give a personal feedback. Like and subscribe if you like this video and if you find it useful, share it with your friends. If you want a certain topic in painting that should be explained or made video about, comment them in the comment section. Have a great day.